medications. I hope you're doing okay as you call up George. Yeah, not bad. Just come back from the, from the dinner with the boys. But I was just thinking about my missus, you know? Of course, George. And you're heading towards her now. Uh, no, actually, no. She's got, um, she's got to pick up her parents from my, I'm at the airport. Oh, okay. Gee, so yeah. what? You've, you've had a bit of boys' time and uh, you're not going to see your wife tonight now? No, 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 you know, like, I said, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You, you're a hard-working man too, I suspect, George, so that takes you oh, away from your lady. Most, most definitely. Yeah, and tell me about your sweetheart. What's her name? Oh, her name's Bianca. You're very close. Have you met her parents before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her parents love me and that. Oh, well, you're halfway there, aren't you? <laughs> you can <play> that. <laughs> Well... It certainly makes it easier, man. Are they staying for long? Yeah, no, no. They just went over the seas to, um, yeah, you know, visit. Oh, I see. So they live close by, so that's how you've met them. Yeah, yeah understood. I, I thought they might have been coming from overseas or something. So you're just thinking about your Bianca tonight and you just wanted to let her know that she may be out of sight at the moment, but she's not out of your mind. Yep. And is there any love or anything else you want to send her on the radio, George? Um, I'd just like to say, um, I love you, I miss you, and, um, I can't wait to see you next. I need you, boo.